Hey Dora, why are you crying at the start of the video again? Why are we still here, just to suffer? Every day, we exist to suffer for stupid people's enjoyment. And that is exactly right. We deserve to suffer for all of eternity you bad 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 girl. I hope you die burn in hell. Why does that keep happening? Um, you might wanna get that checked out by a doctor. Well, I would if those stupid conservative fucks didn't keep defunding and privatizing our public health care. It's beyond bullshit. Health care is a basic human right. I don't know why Abuela thinks they are the saviors and good guys compared to the others. When they are basically screwing her over with all the services they cut that benefit her, like her pension, medication, PSW, hell, even health care. It makes no sense. Why vote for someone who cuts things that helps people because it is a woke and socialist idea? It's probably has something to do with religion. I read a report for school project that the far right has been using religion to push their agenda. Like saying things like the left is all demons from hell and don't believe in God and that they are God's messengers here to defend God and the Bible in our lives. They're kind of ironic actually, but I'll get into that another day. Anyway, since today is Father's Day, I'm going to make his favorite tomato and cheese tamales for dinner. And churros for dessert. How does that sound? Um, want me to help you with that? Since we'll be elephant and normally do the cooking, and I know you're cooking it. Well, um, shale. We say, not as good. Oh, whatever. Fine, you can help. Let's go to the store now and get the stuff we need. was capitalist, one company monopoly, society. Ugh, are you kidding me? $200 for only 30 items worth of food that was only $50 a few years ago? What do these people think we are made of? Oh, it's not the fault of the store. It's the fault of that woke carbon tax done by our woke PM and woke and mentally ill far left government. I hope PP wins and brings it home. Ha 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 it's those greedy corporations. If the store gets most of its perishable goods from down the street, then why is it priced like it's being imported or it's in limited supply? I've talked to some farmers and they are being price gouged too for their supplies and equipment. But they can't raise their prices too much because the stores won't buy them. We're all at the mercy of big corporations. But we seem to left them off the hook and then blame it on the woke new world order BS the far right has been yapping about lately. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's funny that people are mad at the government for doing something to help people and those who are not. Like the ones who just want to cut everything that is not making money or is too woke and socialist. And then private everything while cutting taxes. And you have corporations making record quarterly profits. But you are paying off shareholders and its execs instead of lowering prices. Corporations are not your friends. They will do anything to make even more money. But many people believe them to be just like us regular people and the government is the only bad ones hurting the working class. Anyway, let's go home now and make this food. I am so sick of this debate. Me too.
So Dora, are you ready to help me make dinner for your dad? Yes. I can't wait to make tomato and cheese tamales and churros. Oh for God's sake! I completely forgot to get tomatoes. Now we have to drive all the way back and pay even more money for them. I so hate my life right now. Oh, don't worry, Mom. I got some growing in my room when I was trying to grow weed. We can use them. They taste even better than the ones from the store. You're lucky I am already mad at myself that I forgot to get the tomatoes to question why you were growing weed in your room. Anyways, we are now at home. Let's get to work. Oh god, I've driven into the inspection pit. Okay, so you can't cook and can't drive. Shut up, shut up, Dora, or you know what's coming to you. Duck, mob can be a bit of a pain sometimes. Let me get some tomatoes and let's get to work. Velma, when do you have my tomatoes in a box? And what are you doing here? Oh. I need your tomatoes for a very important experiment. You are the only one who got the defective weed seed pack that ended up being tomatoes. But I need them for my dance dinner tonight. Oh, just take some from your dad's garden. But he would kill me if I do anything like that. Oh not to worry. Just pour this potion I made over the plant to regrow your dad's tomatoes in a matter of seconds. Just don't pour more than a drop. I will also give you $5,200 as compensation for your troubles. Wow. Thank you, Velma. No prob, Dora. Now I'm out. Bye. I'm okay then. Well, let's put this away and let's get to work in the kitchen with Mom. You stop! You've given up! You're setting the place on fire, and you're sending me raw fish, but it's fucking cold! It's fucking raw! Fuck you, you just sold me out the fucking Chef Ramsay. You're fucking useless, you know that. Don't worry, I told him to fuck off! Do me a favour, that's his job, you fuck off! Yeah. Disrespectful, disgusting man! No, 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 no okay. Don't no, no, fuck no. with me! Absolutely <laughs> pathetic! So, Dora, are you ready to get cooking? Oh yes, mommy. Let's do it right now. Let's make this thing without epic montage music. Oh yes. It is all done. Now all we have to do is wait for your father to show up. Ah, remind me never to ear food again. Man, that was a tough day at work. I just want to relax. And you can do with your favorite dinner. Happy Father's Day, my daddy love. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I got you this nice card and a present for you. Oh, oh no. no. Here, Here we, we go, go again. again. Okay, calm down, you too. It's just a card I got from the dollar store. And my gift is something for dad's gardening. Oh, thank you, Dora. This card is so nice and sweet. I am just going to put this thing in my sad and I'll be right back so we can my favorite thing. Oh, for God's sake! Oh my god. What is going on here, Cole? What's wrong? Someone took all of my tomatoes from my plantation. And I know who can't sell my 5 star salsa at the fire station. I am so sad right now. A myth it makes you feel better, Dad. I was the one to take your tomatoes from your garden. We needed them for your dinner since we forgot to get them from the store. And Velma took my tomato plant. 
so I took all of your matters for your mama. Please don't be too mad at me. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, how dare you use the apple of my tomatoes with all the skin? That is so easy. You are growing, you're dead 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 for one week. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
I pray to my God that you burn and suffer in hell for all of eternity. You are not loved and won't be missed. Society will be 7,865,468 times better off without you. Good. That demon is dead. Now if you excuse me, I am about to get an award from the police service for doing my God-given job to that evil Nazi demon. If you illegal immigrants revive her, I am calling Child Protective Services to make sure that brat gets removed from your care into mine. So I can do my God-given job you mentally woke illegal immigrants are too stupid and mentally ill to do. If you dare fight it, I will have you all deported for crimes against this state, now I'm out. Fuck you woke idiots for not doing your God-given job. I hope you all burn in hell for not living up to the Bible. I hope Project 2025 passes up here too, so we can put all these evil demons away for good, and our world will be how God wanted it to be. Now I'm out.